Hi guys, it's me, Tom Nook. I'm in debt from, well, Instagram and Twitter. I finally decided to start a YouTube channel, and I'm very excited about it. And today, I thought I'd just show you around my island and talk, and, well, talk about my villagers. Just talk. Um, I thought I'd tell you a little bit about what's happening with tours, because I know a lot of you like me touring your island. Tours will continue. I will have a video on here and I'll probably take one or two pictures from your island and post it to my Instagram as well and Twitter and Twitter we can't forget about Twitter but let's start the island tour this is my well my entrance my entrance I like I wish I had more space between the town hall and my airport but I like it I could only the only reason I could do that would be like if I restarted and honestly, I don't feel like restarting, because if I restarted, I'd want to move every single one of my items. And that is not good, because I have so many items on this island. Well, my island is sort of like, I guess, a nature and clutter mixed. I don't know. But, like, honestly, you don't really need an authentic. You just need your island, and it'll be called your island. You know what I mean? Anyways, I thought we'd look at my map. I don't know if you guys want to look at my map. Oh, I think it's 2 p.m. here. Anyways, here is my map. My map is right now changing a lot. So, as you can tell, there's part of it that's very suburban. That was my island before. It started out as city, then suburban, and now it's nature. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay with nature. Unless my mind's like, yeah, we're going to go back to city or something, which I doubt it. So, basically, we're on Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear, I named it after my Teddy Bear. His name's Mr. Teddy Bear. I've had him since I was very young. Anyways, and I love my Teddy Bear. And I have addiction to a, a Teddy Bear. Well, to Teddy Bears. Anyways, I'm, this is my entrance again. And I like it. I... The, my favorite parts are the giant teddy bears. You can see the giant teddy bear over there, too. If you look very carefully, you can see it more by Stitch's house. And the moon. The moon is the whole reason we're here, because I don't know why. I just like that moon, and I can sometimes pretend, pretend that's the real moon. Anyways, I like it. As you notice, you'll see a lot of teddy bears, including Judy. Judy I got when I mistakenly time traveled for the first time I just time traveled just to see cherry blossoms well I guess it wasn't a mistake but and then Barbara asked to move out and then I went searching and I found Judy and she was just, like honestly one of the snooties I wanted so we're gonna go this way towards my shop uh, here's my shop well it's not a shop it's the tailor shop it's Abel sisters and honestly I think I'll redo this area a bit because I made it more when I was just starting out honestly my island's always going to be I'm always going to be working on it <laughs> so don't expect it to be finished here's the hat and the shoe I don't know why they're called that I just named them that on the spot because I don't know why this is my sewing machine I don't actually sew this is just a sewing machine in case they want to come in the snow and so oh that rhymes snow snow so these are my custom designs if you want them uh, I can put them like somewhere if you want them I doubt anybody wants them but um here is a little sitting area for the able sisters like some place to get away you know cuz honestly they mostly just sew and work and stuff and they can like sit back there with their coffee cup and stuff so yeah, this area, I don't know what I'm going to put here because it was very tiny, so that's why. There's a fossil right here, which I don't know why I'm not picking up. This is my little, like, I don't know. This area is like your entrance to fairy tale forest. That's what I like to call it. And it's named after Red Riding Hood. Well, not named after, but the area is based off of it. Because the cedar trees kind of remind me of it. Anyways, here's a gnome protecting Eric. 
Speaking of Eric, here is Eric. He is inside his house right now. And Eric, honestly, I got him when I first, like, my very first villager hunt. Not, like, when I actually learned that I could villager hunt. Because when I started, I knew nothing. And I was, I actually wasn't going to take him. But then I took him, and now I love him, and I'm so happy I have him. He's like my little baby. And this area I had in a dream. I was basically just sleeping. Well, not sleeping. Before I fell asleep, I'm like, Oh, wouldn't it be cool if I could put Eric's house on the pier? I'm like, yes! And basically, that's what happened. So I'm very happy. Out here on the beach, I'll probably extend his property he doesn't have a very big property i guess this is like little red riding hood pond that's what i want to call it but they won't let you name ponds and there's fish in the pond um maybe it's a river i don't know i think i call it a pond. i don't know you guys don't want to know um but basically i named it because there's a lot of reds and browns and it kind of reminds me of little red riding hood you know what i mean and this is stitch's house stitch's house is he's a teddy bear i love him for being a teddy bear because i'm my island's really named teddy bear i've had him for a long time though so i don't know if he's gonna stay but i love him i got him from an amiibo card well my amiibo card and i got that from amiibo festival that's like the only game i actually played for animal crossing besides this newly if i just discarded i just left it anyways this is supposed to be a picnic area but I changed the QR codes, and now it's a soil thing. I will change that eventually. Same thing here. This was supposed to be a blanket. Okay, this is my museum. I don't know what I was doing with my museum. I really like it. Most of the time, I just decorate. Hopefully, it comes together. And then I'm like, oh, we can put blah, blah, blah here. We can... That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to put everybody's house places, I guess you could say. Because, honestly... I have no clue where three of my people are going. I just roll with it. I just make areas and then I'm like, oh, blah, blah, blah would fit perfectly here. Okay. So here is my valiant ignore the fences and stuff. Any dropped items before I, or any flowers or any random trees. It's because I'm redoing my island and I just drop everything and I don't really try to clean up my island, I guess. I eventually will, but... Anywho, this is my Valiant statue entrance sort of thing. I had this idea same time as I got Eric's idea. And basically, I just put it there, and now I really like it. And look at this fountain. The view, like when you take a picture like this, is really cool. Anyways, this, is, this used to be my nature area. Now it's like a fairy sort of thing. Like, lots of pinks, whites, light colors and stuff. Um, it used to be nature area, but then my island became unsuburban and into nature, so everything was nature. Well, everything's becoming nature. Um, over here is, like, you can see a teddy bear in up, and a duck in a barrel. This is, like, my little, I don't know what this is. I just saw a little sitting area, piano and stuff. Um, ignore my flower beaches because that's what they are. This is a shell area. This shell area used to be normal. But then I dropped a bunch of flowers and leaves and oh, a life ring and a rocking horse. I should come over here more often. <laughs> yeah, I I have like no room in my inventory because I have so much clothes and I try to get rid of it all but it doesn't work. This is my Celeste lookout. I actually made this QR myself. Um, I actually really like it. If you guys want the code, just tell me in the comments. I, I'll get the code. Um, this is like my stargazing area. I thought I'd put it up here because you can see the stars really well up here. Also, look at the sky today. It's so nice. So much nicer than the gray clouds I usually get when it's snowing. Yeah. I did not mean for it to snow today. I thought I was going to have sunny skies. This is what happened. Um, this is like a little hidden picnic area. Sorry for all the tree branches. I never picked them up. Um, and I just look over the sea. It's sort of just beside my house, you know what I mean? Um, my house actually looks really pretty. 
and cherry blossom season. Especially with that bench there. Anywho. This is like, this, this I'm working on still. And this is like a wishing well based off of Snow White, I guess. I don't know. It's not directly from there. I think I might even have a coin here somewhere. No, I don't have a coin. I used to have a coin. Anyways, this is my little mushroom tea area. I kind of, it's kind of based off of, s no, not Snow White. The well was based Alice in Wonderland. I'm a big Disney fan, so, um, yeah, because of all the mushrooms and stuff, and, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing over there. That's just a tiny corner. Um, this is my rock garden, which has one rock in it. As you can tell, I am just going to do this natural. Well, maybe it's not coming because it's this. I don't know. If anybody has any tips on rock gardens, tell me. This is Ketchup's house. Ketchup's house. Ketchup I got just a little while ago. Oh, you hear that music? That's awesome music. Um, Ketchup's house. Ketchup I got just a little while ago. Um, I think she was my third last villager. I don't know. But anyways, I love Ketchup. I got her on 184 tickets. And I wanted to make her a tomato farm, but nobody had a tomato QR, so I used apples instead. As you can tell, she's an apple stand. I'm using apples as a pretend well, tomatoes, because they're the closest thing. And this is my little duck pond. Yes. Here's Bunny. Bunny, I got through an amiibo that I had. And, well, she's, I don't think she's going to stay, but we'll see. Here's Cherry. She was my first, one of my first two villagers. And I, I like her. She, She's been here a while, so I wouldn't mind to switch it up, honestly. Um, over here's Maple House. I, Maple's house. I just found, I just got Maple, and I just did this. I think I finished this yesterday, actually. I was finishing this while we, like, I don't know what I was doing. Anyways, this is Maple's house. I love Maple's house. I'm a bookworm myself, so I made a little book area, because you know normals love books and stuff. So, yeah. And then over here, oh, there's Cherry. Yeah, we're gonna have to move very slowly. Um, sorry, Cherry, I didn't want to do that. Here's my Nook's Cranny. I like it, it's, oh. What? You need a favor? Oh, you wanna give Stitches something? Sure, I'll deliver it. Okay. I'll give Stitches the present. Okay. Got it. Okay. So this is like the little... I don't know what I'm doing with this. I'm still working on it. This is sort of like one of those bridges that you get scared on and stuff. Like the rickety ones in the movies where people fall through. This, These chairs I really like. I'm going to keep them. I just don't know exactly what I'm going to do up here. Anyways, if Cherry ever lets me pass by her, I will show you the bike stand that I have down there for anybody who goes to Nook's Grant, because you don't have cars. Yet. Yet is the prime word, or the most important word. These are bikes. I put bikes here. I don't know. This is just a little... This is like the least nature-y part of my island, but I think it's going to stay. Anyways, this is like... This was supposed to be a little book nook. They got abandoned. So, well, I abandoned a lot of projects. A lot of projects are just work in progress. Yeah, and then they get abandoned for a little while. This is Julian's house. I like Julian. He's my birthday twin. So basically, it's just I gave him this big, cool entryway and stuff, and I really like it. Got him through a Amiibo card. Seems like every day. Zucker, I found on a hunt, and I loved him, so I took him. And then, I had to get Marina. I'm looking, on my next hunt, I'm hoping for a cranky villager. So I might take Octavian or one of the wolf cranky villagers. Um, so, like, this used to be a blanket. But then, I basically 
change the QR and now it says soil so I will change that eventually okay so I think there's there's stuff up here for you guys this is a little sitting area again this used to be a blanket so just ignore it I guess um this is my little I guess my little marketplace I really like my marketplace it's very I don't know I really like it that's all I know and I'm gonna probably incorporate it still I'm just gonna change it to make it more naturey if nature is a word um this is my Red's Beach. Red's Beach is going to be completely different once I'm done. I'm hoping for like a big grand entrance and stuff. Oh, I don't even know where to go. I haven't been up here in a while. I'm, I usually... I'm working down there and stuff by me. This is Bunny's house. I got fur from Amiibo from Amiibo Festival too. Um, I think that's it. But... Let's just go give Stitches his gift. So, oh, and Judy. Judy. Um, Judy, I really want to, like, do a sort of, like, build thing. Like, just fix her property. Like, I cleared this out. I don't know. I think I might work on it, but I might also make a video. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, and then here, I was working on this last night. And I made it behind my, well, behind my town hall. Because before, it was just a tree dump. Yes, I have lots of tree dumps. So, you don't, just, I've had people get lost in my tree dumps. But, we just don't talk about that. I think that's it now. Um. But basically, I thought I'd explain my name. I picked Tom Nook I Am In Debt because I play with my family. Well, I, I just, I started playing and then my f some of my family started playing. And then, sort of, like, before I go in, I sort of was the last one to pay off my debt. I was still in debt when I made the account. And I feel like we're going to be in debt to him again. I don't know. That's just my theory. And this is Stitch's house. I don't know. Oh, I found him. I gave him a bunk bed and he didn't like, he didn't replace it with his own bed. A comedian's outfit. Wait, does Cherry think he's like a comedian? Oh, that's cute. Oh, a tank. Wait, was that the tank he was wearing? Wait. Wait, that's his tank. Oh, but he said there... I'm just going to leave. Anyways, that's my island so far. I'm hoping to do another update soon. Because I do a lot of my construction work offline. Or, well, just random times of the day. But... Thank you for everybody who actually came to this. Um, I really am excited about this to see what happens. Because honestly, I don't really have a plan. I just plan to play the game and do some tours. And I am really excited to see what happens in the future. So thank you so, so much for coming to this video and watching it. And I'll see you next time.